This bout is an amateur MMA bout. Three three-minute rounds in the 185 weight class divisions. And fighting at the B2 Digital Blue Corner, weighing in at 185 pounds, from Birmingham, Alabama, Chris, they call me not Corner. Yeah! And fighting at the Red Corner, weighing in at 186 pounds, with a record of two wins and only one defeat, fighting out of Katala, Georgia, Chance Crosby! <laughs> and your referee when the action begins will be Brent McKeegan. All right, folks, here we go. This is gonna go quick. So look, this Chance Crosby kid is good, great kickboxer, man. Yeah. Chris Corna, blue belt in jiu-jitsu, great wrestler. And, and, and Crosby's got really good jiu-jitsu too. He comes yeah. from Bad Apple. Joseph Greer and them are doing a really good job with him. Yeah. Oh man, they throw him in the pocket. I gotta say, I was a little surprised to see uh, Chance Crosby going for the clinch so early. Yeah, well, he's good there, man. His knees are good. I mean, he's tall, and he's got good jiu-jitsu, too, man. Oh, oh beautiful rough. right hand by oh, Chris man. Cornut. Chris, Chris Cornut's throwing. If he would throw an uppercut. Laying the pressure on. If he would throw an uppercut, he would hit, He would get this. Oh, 100%. Oh, man. I was saying earlier, one of the keys to success for uh, Chance Crosby would have been to stay long, you know, use yeah. his jab. Like, you know, we keep saying the same thing over and over again. You know, use the jab, use the teep, stay long, body kicks, et cetera, et cetera. You understand the game. Um, but here we are on the ground, Christopher Cornut on top. Top side, uh, not size curl, excuse me, uh, top half guard, moving to mount. Looking to ground and pound oh, here shortly. He's dangerous here. He's dangerous here, Josh. This he's, might be over he's soon. Tough. I'm going to tell you, like I said, he's dominated everybody besides besides Damian Douglas. <laughs> Douglas. We just saw Damian Douglas. Yeah. But look, Chris Crosby, or Chance Crosby is good, man. I've seen him, like, his stand-up's good, and I've seen him fight for other promotions. Yeah. He's a dog, man. He really is a dog. Yeah, I just... I know, I keep saying this, but as a long guy, you know, when you're in a position like this where you're being mounted by someone yeah, that's, I mean, that's shorter what, what than you, you it's so hard to make oh, your way out man. of this. Mr. Brent right here, the referee, is looking very close yep. at this. I mean, he's kind of stuck right here in this. Oh, he's going to flip him over. Beautiful job by Chance. For a moment Great there. job by Crosby right there. For a moment there, it looked like Cornut had the opportunity to go for a triangle choke or an arm bar because... Uh, and I don't understand. See, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like Mount. I, because I feel like you I give don't up either. You know, side control, half guard is where it's at. Yeah, I, all about that hip control, man. Oh, That's how I always high feel. Guard. Looking for a triangle choke, yep, it looks yep, like. Yep. Chance oh, Crosby kind of letting it happen. It's coming bad. out the back door. Yep. Somebody's bleeding. It looks like I think Chance might be bleeding. I, oh, big oh, knee yeah, up the middle. Yeah, beautiful this is what knee. I was talking about, man. He's got good knees. He's got great kickboxing. Yeah, it looks like Chance Crosby has a cut over the top of his right, right eye. Well, the thing maybe I a little like, out of his nose too. Yeah, a little bit. Well, the thing I would like to see is is Cornet throw them uppercuts in there, man. He's throwing way out here to the right, and the uppercuts will land that, that is there, not yeah. out here to the outside. Yeah, you reckon they can hear us when we're this close to yeah, him? Yeah, probably so. <laughs> I'm used to it by now. Oh, beautiful knee! Oh, he's coming back. Nice by Chris Cornet. Beautiful, man, but beautiful is tough, man. He's ate, he's ate some balls. Oh, ho, ho, ho. He's having fun in there, smiling. Yeah, Next, you know, and I, I, I know what it's like to have my head sticking out the top of the cage, you know. He and might be six six, Josh. He looks about your height. He's but tall. Look, see if he would stay back. Yeah. In range three and four and throw the jabs and the teeth kicks. Yeah. It would be hard, harder for Cornut to get down in there and, and get it. On the inside. Oh, beautiful. beautiful Man, and I was gonna say something about how, like, how critical. Oh, Chris Cornut That's might be going for an arm bar or a triangle goes, choke. Triangle. Maybe an Omo Plata coming in on the back door. On the back door, he's gonna get stuck on the Yeah. Gonna, yep, Chris is Not enough room control. for that. Not enough room for that. But I was gonna say, you know, that first round in amateur MMA is so critical for these athletes, right? Like that makes or breaks a lot of these guys' like 
confidence through the rest of the fight. You know, and it's really, I feel like it's really important for us to have really strong game plans going into the first round to make sure that when we're in situations like this, we don't have our confidence waver. But I gotta say, it looks like Chance Crosby's doing a beautiful job of not letting it get to him, you know, some of the damage that he took in that first. In top control, looking to land some ground and pound, and I think that's great. Yeah. Oh, man. Chris, good job for Chris getting up. See, Chris is hitting the body. Yeah. I would go with the uppercut, man. I might, you know. <laughs> well, I honestly think he might be having a little bit of a hard time reaching when he's in that clinch, you know? Well, the like, thing is, when they were clinched up in the first round, he was swinging out wide. Yeah. If he would go inside on the uppercuts, I feel like he could do a really good job. Really yeah, good job here. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if part of the reason why he's not throwing that uppercut is because of how that knee landed in that first. You know, that uppercut range for Chris Corna is going to be about the same range for Chance Crosby to throw that knee. That's you know, so too. he might be apprehensive well, about giving him that space because I know I oh, would be. Big knee and by there Chris, we go again. Yeah, his Crosby body is hurt. Knees. Yeah, his These body is, so is hurt good here, man. And the thing about it, oh, man. Yeah, that hurts. Man, if I'm daggers, oh. Yeah, if I'm Chance Crosby, after I land those big knees like that and I watch Chris Cornut fold, I'm disengaging, I'm staying long, and I'm teeing off with my long shots, my ones and twos. Maybe get a little bit of, you know, if you look, know anything about Golden Era Muay Thai, that Diesel Noi type stuff, where as they begin to wade, then you start throwing those looping shots. Well, the thing, too, is, is you know, Chris is, or Chance is so long, that it's hard to take a long, a tall guy down, man. Yeah. Because they have anchors. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. hitting, their, their feet are hitting the floor. And you exhaust yourself trying yep. to do that. Yep. I mean, you got to lift them up and, and, and foot sweep them. Oh, you know? beautiful oh, knee by huge. Chance Crosby. Yeah, man. Another huge. one. Oh, oh his man. body is hurt. But, you know. Oh, oh another oh, one. He's going to drop any second now. Might go for a standing guillotine, Chance Crosby. Man, I would love it if Chance Crosby would just get off the cage, you know, the thing disengage. Is, I haven't seen Chris Corned up buckle on them knees yet. No. He's shoe shining Chance Crosby right now. Yeah. But if I'm if I'm Chance, I'm fighting tall and throwing the yeah. knees. That was a big shot. I mean, I know you know. Of course you know. Here we go. Chris Corned up oh, coming in for a can. Superman yeah, punch. He's, he's, Good I knee. Guess he's trying for the. He thinks he needs the finish. Oh, yeah, he does. He, good. He, 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 I guarantee Ooh, good you, body kick. Are we going to see a sweep? No. I guarantee you his coach, Chris Bowen, probably told him he's down 0-2 just to get Just something. to get him oh, a fire man. under him. Yeah. And who knows, man? Mr. Joseph Grew could be saying the same thing. Now, oh, Beautiful big shot, response. Big left hand. I really appreciated how Chance Crosby, after having received that body kick, was so oh, quick man. to return he, he with that leg overcome. kick. Yep. The knees are there. The yep. leg kicks are there. Man, Chris Cornut just looks oh, unfazed nice. in the yeah, face. Man, he's tough. But so does Chance Crosby. He's taking some shots and he keeps smiling, man. Oh, yeah, big man. leg kick. See, oh, yeah, nice there jab. we go. Chris Cornut acknowledges, like, you got me on that. I'm throwing the big overhand left at you. Man, Chris Cornut almost looks bored in there. He's so, he looks so collected. He, kinda, he, he is, man, that's the way he is outside the cage, too. But he kind of looks uh, a little. A little rocked, well, a little no, tired. Not, no, he's not rocked at all. I don't, he's tired, definitely tired. I think he's a little, like, disappointed, man. Yeah, it's possible. I mean, he gave, I mean, Chance took his best shots in that first round. For sure. For sure. And that can definitely be demoralizing. Oh, there goes the uppercut. Oh, big knee. Man, he's just walking him down, left and right knees as he's walking. Yep. Yep. Got Chris Corned up, up against the cage panel here, right by us, right here, Josh. Chris is married to that overhand. He's trying to get that underhand, uh, yeah. the underhook on that left side. 100%. And, you know, I. Crosby's I, doing a great job here, applying the pressure, keeping the pressure. Yeah. You know, and Chance, uh, Chance Crosby's had a lot of success with that tie style knee in the clinch. You know, when he was leaning up against the fence, it seemed like he was really uh, favoring some oh, of that. that oh, that could be the difference right here in this third. Right that here. could make the fight for but, sure. But in the first round, we saw Crosby, man, he he switched it up a little bit. He definitely swept Corn Nut for to sure. get on top for a second. So Corn Nut's got to keep him here if he wants to win this third round. Crosby looking to get his back against the fence look, to try and stand up. 6'6. Six, six. Yep. Maybe six, seven, 185 pounds. Yeah. I mean, he's gonna be a problem for anybody. Man, oh, that's, for that's sure. A problem. For that's sure. God gifted problem. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? One hundred percent. Here's Cornut. See, right back in the. I don't like the mount, man, because I'm gonna tell you what. 
Crosby swept him from Mount last yep. time. He's going high. And look, say he's going to sweep him again, the same sweep. Yep, using that hip bump he's to try yep. and off balance. Well, and he's, he's about to get it. Yep. Cornut's aware of it. He's throwing little, little shots, little peppering shots with the left hand. Yep. Man, Cornut Chris Cosby. Lead. This is going to be another split decision. We're going to yep. be waiting on the judges to get this one right, brother. Yeah, I'm going to be by myself for a little while yep. waiting for you to get over there. This bout goes to a split decision. And the winner, fighting out of the blue corner, 